Egypt is not very different than the world. It's a subset of the world. Uh, when you have a, a high interest rate uh, policy, people tend to uh, have less appetite to borrow money uh, because the return on, uh, on, on, on debt is very high. So basically, it, the, the, the cost of funding is very expensive. The, 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 the very basic outcome of this is that people don't want to expand their businesses. So even if they don't want to shut up the business and put their money in, uh, in, in, in uh, CDs or whatever, they don't feel that expansion at this cost is reasonable. So the, the basic outcome is that you don't see much expansions. Uh, however, uh, it helps curb the current inflation and try to stabilize the market. So theoretically, if it did not last for long, things should be back normal. Regulatory authorities uh, have a lot of say in all, in all foreign direct investments. Uh, every country needs foreign direct investment and FDIs are very crucial to the sustainability of the economy. Whether uh, sourcing foreign currency or opening up new uh, work opportunities and decreasing unemployment. Uh, FDIs uh, to come in through quickly and safely need some support from from local authorities. So regulatory authorities need to be uh, more flexible and efficient in the process. So you, do, you need to understand, you, you, you usually find so many approval uh, need, approvals needed, not from one authority, but from many authorities. And you don't, you're not really familiar with the process and the process changes a lot and the timeline is very long. Investors are not really that patient so uh, if we enhance our approval for FDIs, approval process for FDIs, we will see uh, a huge increase in the FDI inflows.